Hey guys, one last video in the Supernatural Thursday oh, roundup before I take my break. These are just my overall thoughts about the whole Sarah Gamble era. Ed. If there's one thing I can start with is I would not have wanted to be this lady. I would not have wanted to be in her position. Some would say that her run was either overstuffed or understuffed having way too many directions and at one point no direction whatsoever. I still give her credit for making season six as it was. While season seven definitely is not one of my more preferred seasons, season six tried. Did it succeed? Eh. It succeeded with some aspects. It succeeded in making Castiel a remorseful villain character. It succeeded in taking a concept of Sam being soulless and making it quite fun. It succeeded in giving one of the best meta episodes, if not the best meta episode that the Supernatural ever produced. And it even gave somewhat of an interesting finale with all of the crap ass events that had happened throughout. But obviously season six also had a lot of issues. It had two many plot lines happening. It brought back characters that didn't matter whatsoever, particularly being Grandpa Winchester. It tried to handle too many plot lines at the same time, being Castiel's War for Heaven, the Mother of All Monsters, Crowley trying to get into Purgatory. I really do think that they took this complaint of having way too many storylines going on in Season 6 to heart, because Season 7 is the opposite. Season 7 doesn't have enough. It has one sort of main storyline with a few maybe ish other storylines going on and that can't fill a 23 episode quota this is probably the most dab like era season that we ever got before andrew dad came around the season seven is nothing but a bunch of monster of the week episodes and yes i understand that season one is very much monster of the week episode but that's because that was the basis of the show after a while we could still have monster of the week episodes but they would still have some form of reference upon the character's development the overall plot or just some form of forward motion for the main characters season seven had a lot of episodes it just didn't mean anything again i'm coming back to the comment i said at the beginning of this video is that i i would not have wanted to be sarah gamble Hell, I wouldn't want to be Jeremy Carver, but Jeremy Carver supposedly was able to bring the show back to its life. I remember having better opinions of season 8 and 9 than I did of 6 and 7, but then I stopped watching the show for a moment when season 10 came around. Either way, this was a job that no one would have really wanted, and it also showed that sometimes people can be really good seconds, a second in command, but they can't be the leader. I understand that myself. That's very much how I like to work when I'm on set. I don't like being the person who makes the decisions because I'm always worried about how things are going to go, how things are going to be interpreted, how people are going to look at me making those decisions, how I look giving out those uh, directions and whatnot. And that's just me on a personal level for a day-to-day -day job. I know some people strive at that. Some people thrive for that. I'm just not one of those people. And even then, those who do strive for it sometimes are not made for it. And maybe Sarah was that. I know that she's gotten really good success with you but the first book is pretty decent i'd actually say if they deviated whatsoever from it i would have been surprised but then i didn't read any of the other books and i've heard kind of mixed things about the show after the first season she still was and is one of the founding people of when it comes to supernatural a lot of the really good episodes from season three Season 4 and Season 5 were written by her. And the whole story construct was formed with her, Kripke, Robert Singer, Kim Manners. For when people say that anything after Season 5 is not worth the time, I disagree. There are certain seasons, certain episodes from seasons that do matter. And 6 wasn't uh, not to have some. Uh, Live Free or Twy Hard, Caged Heat, Appointment in Samara, um, Frontierland, which actually was a really good episode too. Uh, and then The Man Who Knew Too Much, or The Man Who Would Be King. The Man Who Would Be King, while it's not as well executed as I remember it being, is still one awesome episode where we get a huge reveal about Castiel being a villain. 
sort of. And then the beginning of season seven with Castiel full on accepting that he's a god and doing what he believes is right and thinking the, the brothers are nothing but pets. That was really cool till he blew up. This is where I'm gonna kinda go into a little bit of speculation territory because I haven't been able to really figure this out yet. But I've heard that Castiel, Misha Collins, the actor, didn't want to be around for this much of this season because he just had a kid. So he asked for time off for that. And if that is the case, and that also did correlate into him blowing up and the Leviathans becoming the main storyline, another sympathy point, I guess, to Sarah, because can you imagine building up towards your villain, your sympathetic villain, and then, yeah, the actor just had a kid. He's, he, he wants to take some time off. The fact that she said, sure, that's nuts. If you look at Gillian Anderson from The X-Files, she had a kid and then went back to work again, barely within like, I don't know, weeks of doing so. It was nuts how quickly she was back on the X-Files. I don't know, her being really nice, but maybe being too nice, it did not work in her favor. I am curious as to see what would have happened if they kept that storyline, if the Leviathans eventually revealed themselves sometime later rather than right off the bat. Or it could have been opposite, they could have taken over Castiel, maybe. It's unfortunate that we didn't get what was possibly the original idea that Gamble had for the Leviathans and maybe we could have had better moments in it. Season 7 only stands out to me for the episode that Bobby died and then the drunk demon Japanese ghost thing. I feel that Gamble was screwed from the start, but she went out swinging. If season 6 is a testament to her standing of storytelling at the very least. That season should have been trash. It should have been pointless, useless, wasteless garbage. And while there were some faults with it, it's still a lot better than it has any right to be considering what it is following. And while season seven is the worst season that I've reviewed of my rewatch, actually I can't really continue that. I was almost gonna say, I'd rather watch season seven than Andrew Dabbs era. Like, I don't know. I think this goes into the same pile of the ones that I'm just never gonna rewatch again. What I grew up with being the original five, hell, really the the original three, I rewatched the first three seasons over and over and over and over again when I was younger. The latterness of the show just lost that flavor, but that's going on to a completely different topic. That's going on to a completely different discussion. But yeah, those are my thoughts. What do you guys think though? What do you guys think about Sarah Gamble's run in a hole. Doesn't matter how long it is, just kind of curious of what you guys think. Now, try and be nice, I guess. You can be critical, you can criticize, but you don't need to be a dick about it. You can point out the good, point out the bad, point out what you didn't like, point out what you kind of hoped, and your disappointments. She's not not one without them. She did have, unfortunately, a really shitty sophomore season. I'm not surprised that she never came back to this show. Not surprised whatsoever. I wouldn't have. I would have just dropped it and left and never come back. Thank you again for following along with me on this adventure of season seven. And when we do start season eight, I'm hopeful, hopeful that we are going to have a much more fun time, much more woohoo adventurous time. And like I said, we've got 69 nice, episodes left. That's how many left I have to review of Supernatural total. And then I'm done. I am done reviewing this show forever. Then what am I going to do? Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.